A democracy thrives because its citizens not only understand the law, but are willing to be given the opportunity to take full advantage of that. Before you can get your rights, you really have to know what your rights are. The foundation provides that source of information for citizens in this great state, that the citizen can find out what they're entitled to, to what protections they have, so that each citizen becomes important in and of themselves. I wasn't born in this country. My family didn't know any lawyers, didn't have access to information. And I think the educating of the public of what their rights are and the information that we provide to them, I think, is an essential part of what we do at the foundation. I think that uh, the New Jersey State Bar Foundation is an excellent organization. What's so great about it is that it focuses on education and outreach as a foundation should. And you walk all the way to the other side of the hallway, passing the light switch again. Is that also right? <laughs> that is true. And then you walk back to the center of the hallway, again next to the light switch. Is that true? He walked back to the uh, center of the stair staircase, yes. The New Jersey Bar Foundation is the home uh, for the Aprazese High School mock trial. And it's a platform that has put us on the national stage. The mock trial is an integral part of the New Jersey State Bar Foundation, and in particular, its mission uh, to reach out to the public and inform the public. If you came to a trial and saw these high school kids, not only you'd see their intelligence, but you'd see their dedication. Then you'll also see their understanding and their excitement. Excitement about what they are doing, excitement about legal issues, things that not only profoundly affect our society, but their fellow citizens. It was all based upon guesses. Participating in mock trials certainly has given me a greater respect for the law and the practices of the law. What I'll take away from it is the discipline, the camaraderie that comes between uh, all the guys on the team, and just the beauty of it all, of being able to participate in something that while it is so fake, at the same time it's so real in what we do and how we participate and how we prepare for all of this. Having done over 100 jury trials, I can tell you there's not a lot of difference between mock trial and a real trial. And yet, we see uh, these students rising to the challenge, and it can be very impressive. It's part of the educational function of the foundation. The earlier that we, that we instill these kinds of principles with our citizens, with our future lawyers, it's very important. And so the outreach from the State Bar Foundation is huge. We're reaching not only the students, but their parents, their, their teachers, their peers. At this time, Your Honors, the prosecution rights. The scholarship committee awards uh, approximately eight scholarships from the Bar Foundation to attendees at the three New Jersey law schools. Any number of the applicants are first-time college grads in their family and certainly first-time law students in their family. And most of them do not have the typical path to law school. These scholarships are a way that we can ensure that there is a more diverse pool of lawyers which more accurately reflects society. Or maybe a parent calls and says, okay, I think my son's being bullied on the bus, right? The New Jersey Whatever. State Bar Foundation has been involved in the anti-bullying education effort for decades, even before it was a requirement of law. The great thing about the education program on bullying issues is that it's education-driven. It's not compliance-driven. It's not geared towards simply complying with the law, but it's geared towards changing the culture in the school to ending bullying as we know it. That is not in the same bargaining unit. The Bar Foundation does this typically a couple of times per month and we know that it's very important because these sessions fill up months in advance. And that tells us that this is what schools need to support them. I think it's great that the Foundation not only offers the program but makes it accessible. When you look at everything that they're providing us with, not only the tips and the strategies and the tools, but the resources that they're giving us to take back with us, I think it's great. The bullying program is something that the foundation not only does well, but has been a national leader in the development of that program. We're very proud of that program, and it does uh, enormous good. And by the way, we have school boards and ASA and the New Jersey State Bar Foundation has publications that cover various areas 
of the law. They're made available to uh, the public free of charge. Quite a few of them are geared towards the schools and the children. It's important for young children to understand the law so that they know what's right and what's wrong. We have a lot of really great publications that we offer for free to students. One of them is Illegal Eagle. I think one of the interesting things that they try to do is cover topics relevant to that age group. For example, should cameras come into the Supreme Court? Just really interesting issues. I think New Jersey State Bar Foundation plays an incredibly important role by giving them publications, programs they can participate in, that will give them a sense of what the law is and does does wonders for their development and hopefully for our society as a whole. Today was the Law and Disability Conference. It's an event that is sponsored by the Barr Foundation and conducted by the Community Health Law Project. It really emanates out of a desire by both our organization and the Barr Foundation to talk about subjects related to people living with disabilities. I am very proud to be a part of the New Jersey State Bar Foundation. It helps enrich me, hopefully, as a person and as an attorney. The public absolutely needs to be continually educated about the law because the law does change. But the law is a living thing. I am proud of the foundation. I'm proud of what we've been able to accomplish, something that I've gotten so much from over my years. The foundation provides me the opportunity to give back to all the citizens in this state so that the state, its democracy, can be a better place. Without the foundation, we can do a lot of things that I think are essential for us to do in terms of helping the public. Without the foundation, people would be at a loss. The New Jersey State Bar Foundation has a noble role in the world, unlike any other organization out there. They empower disenfranchised communities, and they educate people who need it most. Great job. Great job. Great job. Great job. Great job. Great job. Great job.